Hey, what's going on? It's the flight doctor here. Today, I'm going to show you what it's like to fly on call as a flight doctor or flight physician. This time, it's a bit more interesting because it's a stretcher case from Turkey to South Africa. The call comes in a few days prior, so we have time to prepare. It's a middle-aged man with a severe case of discitis, which is damage and inflammation to the surrounding structures of the spinal cord. There's also a risk of seizure, which could be catastrophic. As I always say, prior planning prevents poor performance always. It starts off after a night shift. I head straight to the airport, catch up on sleep in the plane and freshen up while going over the medical notes and doing an impromptu medical briefing with my experienced nursing colleague. Now this is a stretcher that we use. It's important that we understand how it works, how to set up, how to avoid pressure sores and how to even fit it on a plane. We collect the patient from the Turkish paramedic team. We do an efficient medical assessment. Then we have to get the patient into the aircraft safely. Under our medical direction, we guide the team lifting the patient, being gentle and avoiding jolting the patient is so important because the spine is what we are worried about. Now for the 10 hour flight. During that time, we give preemptive pain relief, thromboprophylaxis, 